behind this in this uh, video podcast is to provide uh, a broad overview of California's public employee system that's found in the state constitution. Our civil service system, as well as our broader public employee system here in the state of California, is actually established in our state constitution in Article 7 uh, that deals with public officers and employees. Article 7 was added to the California Constitution by Proposition 14 on the June 1976 ballot. And Article 7 contains 11 sections. So I'm going to briefly go over those 11 sections. Section 1 states that the civil service includes every officer and employee of the state of California, except as otherwise provided in this Constitution. And this section one states that in the civil service, permanent appointment and promotion must be made under a general system based on merit that's determined by competitive examination. Section two of article seven establishes a personnel board of five members who are appointed by the governor and confirmed by the California State Senate. These are for 10 year terms and they stay in office until their successors are appointed and qualified. Section three provides that the state personnel board must enforce the civil service statutes and by majority vote of all of its members, they have to prescribe probationary periods and classifications of jobs and adopt other rules as authorized by statute. And they also review disciplinary actions. Section four specifies uh, specific individuals who are exempt from civil service, including officers and employees uh, of the legislature, officers and employees who are appointed by councils, commissions, or public corporations in the judicial branch, officers elected by the people and their deputies, members of boards and commissions, uh, deputies or employees selected by boards or commissions, state officers directly appointed by the governor with or without the confirmation of the Senate, employees of the governor's office, employees of the lieutenant governor's office, um, deputies selected by officers who are exempt under certain provisions, officers and employees of the University of California, as well as the California State Colleges, the teaching staff of schools under the jurisdiction of the Department of Education or the Superintendent of Public Instruction, uh, inmates and those who provide patient help in state homes or institutions for the mentally ill, members of the militia, officers and employees of district agricultural asso associations. Section five of Article seven provides that a temporary appointment may be made to a position for which there is no employment list. However, no person may serve in one or more positions under temporary appointment longer than nine months in 12 consecutive months. Section six of Article seven specifies that the legislature may provide preferences for veterans and surviving spouses of veterans. Section seven prohibits a person holding a lucrative office under the United States or other power from holding a civil office of profit. Section eight specifies that each person must be disqualified from holding any office of profit in this state who has been convicted of having given or offered a bribe to procure personal election or appointment to office. Section nine provides that no person or organization which advocates the overthrow of the government of the United States or the state of California by force or violence or other unlawful means, or who advocates the support of a foreign government uh, can hold any office or employment under the state, including the University of California, as well as with any county or city or district or boards, bureaus, commissions, or any other public agency. They also cannot receive any exemption from taxes imposed by the state or by any local jurisdiction. Section 10 uh, specifies that no person who's found liable in a civil action for making libelous or slanderous statements against an opposing candidate during the course of an election campaign for any federal, state, BOE, or legislative office, as well as any local elected office, 
can retain his or her seat where it's established that the libel or slander was a major contributing cause in the defeat of an opposing candidate. And the last section, section 11 of article seven prohibits the legislative retirement system from paying any retirement allowance to any person on or after January 1, 1987, who entered for the first time any state office that was elected um, after that time. 